eyes are on Manchester United after senior figures held a seven-hour crisis meeting in London to discuss Eric Ten Hag's future as manager following their dismal start to the campaign. Sir Jim Ratcliffe led the Crunch Summit in May Fair that also included right-hand man Sir Dave Brailsford, directors Dan Ashworth and Jason Wilcox and CEO Omar Berada. Ten Hag's uncertain future as boss will largely dominate headlines as United pause their season once again for the international break, though the Dutchman is confident he will be given more time in his role despite picking up just eight points from seven games. Mirror Football breaks down the latest news around Manchester United as the team look ahead to their next game at home to Brentford after the international break. As speculation over Ten Hag's position rumbles on, the Dutchman has possibly received some respite amid increasing pressure on him and rumours he could be sacked. Despite sitting 14th in the Premier League and winning just twice so far, the Times have claimed that if Ten Hag was set to be sacked by the club, that decision would have been communicated publicly afterwards. But with no statement coming from the club after Tuesday's summit, it appears Ten Hag's job is safe, for now at least with the report also adding that the former Ajax boss has not been told he is at risk of the sack. One manager linked with replacing Ten Hag is Inter Milan boss Simone Inzoghi, who has earned huge admirers for his work at the San Siro, having won the Scudetto with the team last season. However, reports from Italy state that Inzoghi already rebuffed attempts from an agent working on behalf of United to bring him to the club during the September international break last season when Ten Hag had lost two of his first four games. The report from Carriere dello Sport adds that he also snubbed an offer from Chelsea to replace Mauricio Pochettino before the Blues eventually brought in Enzo Maresca from Leicester, with Inzoghi later penning a new deal with Inter until 2026. The Red Devils have a huge reputation of both bringing talented youth players through the club's academy, you only need to look at the likes of David Beckham, Ryan Giggs, Paul Scholes, Nicky Butt, and Marcus Rashford. Now it seems United have another top star on their hands. After deciding to promote 14-year-old JJ Gabriel to train with the under-18s, having already been given experience of playing with the under-16s so far at the club. Reports suggest United have been blown away by Gabriel and believe he is ready for the next step of his development, though they are in no rush to give him game time. Join our new WhatsApp community and receive your daily dose of Mirror Football content. We also treat our community members to special offers, promotions, and adverts from us and our partners. If you don't like our community, you can check out anytime you like. If you're curious, you can read our 